Imagine that one morning you wake up in a wonderful mood. Then you mosey on over to the window, gaze outside, and freeze in complete and utter terror. There's a vast, black emptiness behind the glass. No trees, no clouds, no nothing. You rush to the door, fling it open, and all you can see is a yawning abyss. No, you are not experiencing a waking nightmare, and the world has not suddenly evaporated overnight. You are simply in a skyscraper, and not just any skyscraper, the coolest skyscraper in the world. The thing is, this is no ordinary dwelling, but a domicile flipped upside down, hanging from orbit like an apple from a tree. Some American architects have already developed such a project, and this proposed architectural masterpiece is called the Analemma Tower. In astronomy, an analemma is a diagrammatical curve that shows the position of the sun in the sky from one location on Earth at the same time of day throughout the year. A diagram like this will always resemble a figure 8. The designers believe that this name suits the concept of a flying skyscraper, as it will also travel a similar path through the skies. Obviously, nobody will have to walk upside down in this thing. However, in relation to the Earth's surface, the building will indeed be upside down. The trick is, they want to hang this skyscraper from an asteroid that will be maneuvered into the Earth's orbit. At first glance, the idea looks like something from the plot of a science fiction film. Can we really harness an asteroid? Well, in fact, in 2021, NASA is planning to catch a random asteroid wandering somewhere in space and, indeed, lasso the thing and move it closer to our planet. The plan is to research this captured space body and then hopefully to harvest the thing for its various elements, in particular its rare and valuable metals. If the mission is successful, then another cosmic body can be captured and brought into the Earth's domain, where it will be maneuvered into an orbit at an altitude of 31 miles and adjusted for the foundation of the Analemma Tower. After that, with the help of the Universal Orbital Support System, which was developed by the project's architects, the building can be suspended or hung. Heavy-duty cables attached to the asteroid will be something like its skeleton, and all the prefabricated modules will begin to be mounted roughly 20 miles lower. They're inviting builders to construct the modules for this architectural masterwork in the USA, and they are also calling on special construction experts from the United Arab Emirates. Arab specialists, by the way, are well experienced in skyscraper construction. They've recently built several towers much faster, and for about one-fifth the cost, than their counterparts from the United States or much of the rest of the world can do. In order to save money, the developers want to put together the skyscraper over Dubai, where land is about one-fifteenth the cost of land, for example, in New York. The finished modules or sections will be transported to the Emirates, and the building can begin to be hung from the cables attached to the asteroid. This mammoth skyscraper will extend for more than 12 miles from top to bottom meaning its roof or top will be somewhere in the troposphere, far above the Earth's surface. The creators plan on using super-strong materials and special innovative anchors, something like transparent aluminum, which is three times stronger than steel, will probably be suitable for the job. And it's likely that nanomaterials will be used as well, as according to scientists, they're almost impossible to damage or destroy. It's also proposed to build the brick modules from concrete, but not just any old concrete. This will be a special space-age concrete mixed with the most durable substance in the world, graphene. As most buildings do, this building will also have to have windows. Interestingly, their size and shape will vary with altitude and temperature. So, for example, windows located above the troposphere will need to be very thick. And due to the curvature of the Earth, the sun will shine for 40 minutes longer there than on the floors that are lower down. Inside, the tower will be divided into sections. 
The closest floors to the Earth will contain business centers, shopping malls and stores and entertainment sectors. The middle will be used mostly for residential premises, and the top, closest to heaven, will be relegated for religious institutions as well as having a cemetery. In the case of a funeral, one will not have to return to the surface of the Earth. All sectors will have magnificent gardens with lush lawns, glorious flower parks, and ever-sprouting fruit trees. Everything is set up so that returning to the surface of our home planet will become mostly unnecessary. Residents of the Mega Tower will travel more than enough on their own. In fact, every day the building will fly around the Earth in a figure eight trajectory at a speed of up to 300 miles an hour. The path of the skyscraper will be perfectly calculated so that it goes over many major cities in the northern and southern hemispheres, such as Havana, Atlanta, Panama City, New York, and others. During clear weather, residents of these big cities will be able to watch as this marvel of engineering and construction will soar across the sky. In addition, this smart skyscraper will produce all the fundamental requirements for life on site. On the upper floors, where there are no clouds, numerous solar panels will be installed. They'll fully provide all the necessary energy for this upside-down city in the sky. And on the lower floors, huge units will condense water from the clouds, collecting it into tanks. If something happens on Earth, like volcanoes erupting, bombs exploding, or storms or hurricanes devastating the land, the inhabitants of the Analemma Tower will continue living on as if nothing happened. However, a note of caution. In the Analemma Tower itself, catastrophe could occur. For example, an uncontrolled fire or a serious flood from ruptured pipes in the water supply. In this case, according to the plan of the designers, people will be quickly evacuated on specially designed parachutes or by aircraft which will constantly run between the skyscraper and our planet below. And yet, the Analemma Tower is unlikely to become some kind of ultimate paradise like the Elysium space station habitat from the eponymous American science fiction film. Here, for example, is a simple question to which the authors of the project did not yet give an answer. Where are they going to put all of the enormous amount of bio-waste they produce every day? You can't just dump it out on the heads of Earth's inhabitants below, though that would be pretty funny. They will probably be flown or parachuted down to the surface of the planet or out into space above in special containers. But however it's done, it will be very expensive. In addition, up at the top of the structure, people won't be able to take even a single step outside without a protective suit, due to the obvious absence of air at that altitude and a temperature of minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It looks like people living in this futuristic megastructure will have to face a kind of total isolation in this large, luxurious, and self-sufficient, but nonetheless confined space. Although it should be noted, the International Space Station has been continuously inhabited for decades, with some astronauts living there for a combined total of almost two years, and they feel just dandy. The developers of the Analemma project are confident that they will find answers to all of the various questions posed, and that their creation will be a resounding success. The recent boom in skyscraper construction has shown that the sale price really does increase as the floor numbers rise. If successful, the Analemma Tower will be the first model of supraplanetary architectural design and also will clinch the title as the tallest building in the world. The developers of the Analemma Tower have not yet broken ground on construction, but they have already made plans for a similar project for a skyscraper outside the confines of our planet. This one would hang above Venus. They also plan to suspend it from an asteroid, this time in the orbit of Venus at an altitude of 31 miles. And there's yet another project for Venus of a similar design planned by project leaders from the USA. This one is called the Venus Garden Tower. According to the creators of this orbiting edifice, 
such a structure is the only possible way to colonize the so-called morning star planet, as its surface is a living hell. The planet is constantly flooded with hot lava from the eruptions of over 600 volcanoes. The air is chock full of carbon dioxide and hydrochloric acid vapor, and the pressure on the surface is approximately 90 Earth atmospheres. As well, the temperature reaches 864 degrees Fahrenheit, twice that of your everyday friendly kitchen oven. But if you get to a height of 31 miles above Venus, everything is completely different. There, it's much more similar to the Earth. Travelers at that altitude can expect a comfortable pressure of one Earth atmosphere. And their thermometers will register a balmy 59 degrees Fahrenheit, or about 15 degrees Celsius. Not too shabby. Venus Garden Tower is proposed to be built in the form of a futuristic spiral tower. Sections approximately 32 by 98 feet in size will be meticulously constructed here on Earth. And then each section will be placed in the cargo hold of a proposed interplanetary spacecraft transported to Venus and assembled on site. Heavy-duty cables made of carbon nanomaterials will serve as the core or frame of this ambitious construction. In the center of the structure will be a hollow tube, which will contain six small elevators as well as a spiral staircase connecting all of the different levels. Fan-like sections will be attached to the pipe, each of which will unfold like a jackknife and spread out once construction is completed. Each section of the tower will be able to accommodate approximately 200 people. The outer skin of the skyscraper will be covered in a transparent, inflatable membrane made of a super-strong, high-endurance material. The developers have high hopes for something called Tedlar Film in particular, which can serve for very long periods under very harsh conditions in almost any climate imaginable. Of course, at the moment, these buildings seem less like real residential spaces and rather more like chimeras. However, science is advancing so quickly these days that even these amazing buildings may soon become something like ordinary, everyday skyscrapers. And the architects of the future are already dreaming of going even further, constructing some kind of new analemmas and Venus towers, but these perhaps allowing their inhabitants to one day travel to other asteroids, solar systems, galaxies, and beyond. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done it. And don't forget to click on the bell button to not miss any of our new videos. And also, don't forget to tell your friends about us, because Riddle's always better together.